with the challenge. So definitely, definitely a great big pile of chili, spaghetti, I don't really know what you call it. Chili, spaghetti, cheese, and jalapeno caps. So, it should be really interesting. Um, I mean, you know how I feel about cheese, and if you don't, let's just say me and cheese have an interesting relationship. But I'm sure the chili is fantastic. I'm sure this will be a really delicious dish overall. I'm very, very excited to try kind of a Cincinnati-style chili, and or in this case, kind of chili on spaghetti so very interesting but uh, yeah so we're gonna start here just momentarily that's about it we got you our official little timer right here so uh do i do i press do you want to press I it i can press it all right so how about we start let's say the count of five hopefully this isn't too 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 hot uh it's steaming oh well, how about five four three two one whenever you're ready let's go A lot of cheese, but I will say, the first plates are absolutely delicious. Very, very good. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here in Cincinnati, Ohio at Blue Ash Chili. So I've been wanting to get to the area for a very long time and specifically wanted to do this challenge. So this challenge is very, very famous. It got a lot of notoriety from being on the Food Network's Enormous Foods, as well as a lot of other food series. Um, so Enormous Foods was very similar to Man vs. Food, just they didn't have the actual host per se. So this was basically a challenge that appeared on, you know, kind of Man vs. Food, but, you know, at least the equivalents of the Food Network's Enormous Foods, and I can see why. Here we have an enormous eight pound Cincinnati chili. Oh, there was a bib too. I'll throw the bib on. Always protect yourself, kids. Always use protection. You can quote me on that. We don't want no accidents. So this style would be called a three-way, and then they'd have a two-way, a four-way, a five-way, a six-way. But what that exactly means, because I understand some individuals might be uh, not familiar how this terminology is being used, that would mean the spaghetti, the cheese, and the chili. Um, whereas then this one I think technically would be considered a three-way plus jalapenos. And then if you had like a four-way, you might have like onions at it, and you had a five-way, you'd have something else, six-way, um, and so on. You get the picture. So this is a three-way, or the classic. Get some of those jalapeno bites in there. A little spicy. So if you've never had a Cincinnati style chili like I had not before this, it is basically I would call kind of like a pasta sauce or a lot similar to like a spaghetti sauce in a way. It's not like a chunky, hearty chili, um, but there's definitely a lot of ground beef in it, or it's kind of like maybe taking a, you know, a, a, gr a hearty chili and putting it through a blender. Um, kind of like we saw at the beginning there, it is like a liquidy consistency, but again, quite smooth. Um, I will say its flavor profile though is absolutely delicious. I think we had like kind of like some like winter spices in there, a little bit of heat, uh, just it was savory, it was salty. It was awesome. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but it tastes really good on spaghetti. So chili tastes really good on spaghetti. Whoops. I lost the bib. Chili on spaghetti is kind of like a Cincinnati dish, like this area, that's what it's known for. And again, it's this very specific like Cincinnati style chili. And I will say like, I was absolutely loving the flavor of it. Even with the cheese on it, I'm not the biggest cheese fan, admittingly, which if you like cheese, comment down below right now, but I'm not the biggest cheese fan. But even with the cheese, this was tasting absolutely scrumptious. Don't, don't, don't jinx me yet. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, it's actually very, very delicious. The uh, Cincinnati style chili is fantastic. It is definitely different that there's so much cheese and on spaghetti, but... Jalapeno poppers are going to be the interesting part. Yeah. 
As we mentioned, this challenge had not been actually completed at this location. This was the newer location. Uh, the other uh, flagship location had been around for years, and even this one had been around for like at least, I think, five to ten years, so definitely a long time. Um, and then again, if you win, you get the free meal, you get a t-shirt, all that pretty cool stuff. Um, and then, of course, there was all the jalapeno caps. So I was a little worried for that because I knew it was going to get really, really spicy. Um, but I was thoroughly enjoying this challenge. And again, for something that was like basically spaghetti noodles and chili and cheese, again, I was definitely, oh, let's just say I didn't have the highest expectations. But I will actually say this is probably one of my favorite and most memorable challenges in a long, in, like that I've had in a long, long, long time. Yes, yeah, seriously. One of the most memorable, tastiest, and delicious. Probably because I had such maybe odd expectations or different expectations and like I said totally blew me out of the water so if you're ever in the area you definitely try a Cincinnati style chili Woo. coming out about five minutes I'm gonna do the bell I think we need a little more room in there Woo. a lot of chili but um yeah it's gonna get more interesting I'll eat the jalapeno tops a little spicy but excuse me Woo. No shortage of food, but I gotta say, this chili is fantastic. So, Cincinnati style chili. I approve. So a lot of different eaters have done this challenge in the past, such as Molly Schuyler, who held the record and had the female record. Um, the overall record, which was held by Molly, was about six minutes, and then the overall male record, I believe, was held by Brandon the Garbage Disposal, which was about nine minutes. Um, then we had other eaters like Randy Santel, he tried this uh, a number of years ago, um, and definitely kind of the list goes on, as it's definitely, like I said, definitely kind of a notable challenge in the area. Uh, that being said, as I'm switching to a spoon and starting to dive in these jalapenos, I'm going to let you get to the rest of the video. Ultimately, let's tune on in and see what happens. Um, you know, have you ever had a Cincinnati chili? And if you have, let me know what you thought of it down below. Because chili on spaghetti sounds a little weird. I thought it was a little weird, but it was surprisingly enjoyable. So with that, everybody, let's get, let you get to the rest of the video and uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> second very very delicious really enjoyed kind of that the Cincinnati style chili the jalapenos definitely a little spicy at the end but so happens you get the meal for free which is pretty cool we get a picture of the wall of fame do we get a t-shirt right maybe we'll find out um but yeah that really delicious would definitely recommend checking out blue ash chili really really supportive people here as well um so yeah we're also the first winner at this location and i think that is the fast the second fastest time i believe bali did it's like five minutes which is insane but uh, very delicious thoroughly enjoyed that so that brings the next one of course the happy out the hungry happy eating that was about it so uh that have a little bit